Welcome back to another Dino Days video. As you can see, a lovely Milano Red FA2 with a few bits of Mugen loveliness on it. There's our Jano back in action. Hey, Jano. There's a lot of parts to fit to this. I'm going to go through some very quickly. We've got a Tegua, we've got a Tegua 70 mil. We've got a Piper manifold and sports cat. We've got an FD2 oil pump. We've got a Skunk 2 throttle body, Skunk 2 inlet manifold, and a CPL induction kit. And then it's time for mapping. So we're going to get through this work and then we're going to see you in a bit. Here we go. Okay, it's up on the dyno. It's had a Tegua 70 mil exhaust system. It's had a Piper manifold and Piper sports cat. It's had a Skunk 2 inlet manifold. It's had a Uncle Keith's, there's a bit of dirt on that just there. It's had an Uncle Keith's candy rocker cover. Uh, what else has it had? A CPL induction kit, big bore induction kit. It's about to have the stock ECU mapped on Ecotech software. So our Jensen is busily strapping her down. I'm going to type in some details into the dyno computer and we're going to start tuning. Ain't we, Jensen? Yeah. Are you read it? Not as ready as I'm going to be. Okay, so FN2 Honda Civic Type R in at Dino Days. And as I said, it's had some modifications. Now, I didn't mention that it actually had a uh, FD2 oil pump balance shaft elite. Mm. But it has had that. It's also had the Tegua 70 mil, Piper manifold and sports cat, Skunk 2 inlet manifold and a CPL induction kit. A pro Series it? inlet manifold, just to pro be clear. Series, yeah. And then our Richard has uh, sat this afternoon and mapped it. Got some tissues there for you. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so and and he has mapped it and we have finished on 230 brake horsepower, Rich. Yeah, 230 is where we finished. Like I say, a lot of work on this car, as Dan said, it, he's listed the mods there. Um, you know, so we've been working on the car for you know, we've had it in for two days. Why are you taking them all out? Of there? I don't know, I don't know, they're just they're in my yeah. field of vision. Yeah, so you know, good sort of two days. Uh, well, a two days full in total, including the map. Uh, worth of work there. Obviously, there's a lot of work involved in obviously doing the chain and uh, the balance shaft delete. You know, that's in itself is a big job on its own. Yeah. Uh, so it's pretty much yesterday, me and Jensen uh, sort of got twos up and decided that we were going to uh, try and get everything off yesterday. So as much as we could physically get off the car yesterday, get off. We sort of did loads better than I thought, really, to be fair. We sort of got everything off. and uh, Teamwork sort of, makes dream work. Yeah, got the chain back on and got that back on and did a little bit of sort of a part of the exhaust work. And then obviously sort of picked up where we left off this morning 
uh, allowed all the sealers to go off and everything overnight with no oil in there, so it's all nice and dry and, and gone off. Um, yeah, and then obviously reassemble this morning. Had a nice uh, Uncle Keith's rocker cover in candy red. It did have a rock cover in candy red as well, so it was off. Yeah, so quite you know a, a massive amount of work on this car. But not as me and Dan always say, it's a nice, nice all round job. This we've, we've sold some parts, we've fixed some parts, we've done a map. So, and even the paint shops got involved and sold something yeah, as well. Yeah, and so. it's going to be uh, from rocking up standard at two hundred brake to leave it at two thirty with powering the mid range. You know, switchable maps and all the features like adjustable launch control and things like that. This is going to leave here a transformed car. Yeah, I, think I mean, I really think it happy. literally only had a panel filter in it. I yeah, think that was literally yeah. the only mod it had. Uh, yeah, so a, a dramatic difference. I mean, obviously, you say the car was running standard power. We didn't run the car standard because we sort of received the car the night before. We all went home, and then obviously the following morning, we are going to start work. So we didn't want to get it hot and, and uh, do that. But So we haven't necessarily got a comparison. But, you, you know, at the end of the day, you can assume that car was, it was standard, so therefore it would have been 200 brake or there or thereabouts. And like Dan said, we finished on 230. Again, the Piper manifold and sports cat is a great solution to a legality like obviously if you want to remain legal um does give you a little bit of a dip in the mid-range i mean i don't always talk about it but it is frustrating i've tried to map around it as much as possible but it's a flow restriction and there's nothing i can do about it like i say it comes on power and then it just i mean when i say it dips down it doesn't die by any means but it just lulls a little bit then comes back and it'll continue to make power it just can't there's still get rid probably of more power to be had with some different modifications for this car for sure but i think next time it's probably going to be it's probably going to be cams and injectors i think for this guy yeah, there's so. I mean, you'd like to see an RRC manifold, don't you? So... Yeah, I mean, generally for me, I like seeing RRC. This this lad uh, picked the Pro Series, which is fine. Obviously, it's still good, but I feel that the RRC is slightly better. And he did want to fit a throttle body, um, but he bought a Skunk 2 throttle body, which is weird. Because obviously, as soon as I looked at it, I was like, Skunk 2. I didn't know they did a fly by wire Skunk 2. Well, he didn't. He'd ordered one for an EP3. Um, yeah, so we were due to have a bigger throttle body as well, but obviously, we. Uh, so it might be selling this if anybody wants one. Yeah. Um, we were going to fit a bigger throttle body, but obviously, we haven't got that, so we couldn't do it. So. We slightly lost there. I think you slightly lose on the Piper Manifold and Sports Cat, but that's the price you pay for being legal. It's not a massive but amount. Saying but saying that we've seen the Piper Manifold and Sports Cat mated to other like these modifications with an RRC and they've mm. still made good power, ain't they? Like Oh yeah, I'm not suggesting it hasn't made good power today at two thirty. It's just that you just got a little bit of a lot in the mid range. Yeah, I think you can see it. You can see it. And I think that the um the D cat would make more but mm, i understand mm. that that's the price you pay mm. if you want to remain legal you're going to have to somewhere that cat is going to offer you a restriction you yeah, can't yeah, get away course. from that of course it is um, but yeah so i think it's made really good power i think possibly for me i think there might have been a bit of improvement with the rrc and there might have been a little improvement with the say going with the j35 y throttle body um yeah we'll have to see yeah well, I've, been, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed this seeing this car in and out. Uh, thanks for everyone who watched the Green FN2 video. We really appreciate all your comments on that. So stay tuned for uh, even more stuff that we're doing. There's going to be a great Uncle Keith's Paint Shop video coming out soon. It's something a bit different to us because it's VAG related. But, um, yeah, it's going to look stunning. So. Well, that'll pretty much get finished up today, won't it? And yeah. then that'll go live, perhaps over the weekend, won't it? Hope so. Yeah, so right. Maybe Sunday at... night's video. Yeah, maybe if this Sunday is Saturday. Night's video, yeah, then it'll be Sundays. It'll be Sundays. Right, shall we have a look at the graph? Let's do it. So here is the graph. Red line is as she leaves, and we've got this is the bit here in the graph that Rich is talking about with the with the cat. A little bit of a dip off there that unavoidable as a flow restriction, and we finish. I'm calling that 230 brake horsepower and 196 at the wheels. So. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. We're going to go with Uncle Keith or Candy Red. You can choose as your, um, as your code word because that's one hell of a rocker cover. It looks absolutely stunning in this Milano Red FN2's bay. Uh, but yes, thanks to everybody. Um, and we'll see you all again, won't we, Rich Richard? <laughs> we will. I can't get my words out. Peace out. Boy, I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast.